Hey everybody, Andrew Rice here, and I wanted to talk a little bit about, obviously we see trends in golf instruction, but currently there's a lot of interference, I would say, going on regarding outliers as I view them. And outliers to me are successful golfers that seem to break the trend. So we've got these ideas, these philosophies in golf instruction, and we can pick a handful of very successful golfers that seem to fit or exist outside of these ideas. Couple of examples, Colin Montgomery. Lots of hip slide in the backswing, more so than anybody else. Another one, Nick Price at impact. Hips were very square, he's not open. NB Park, very successful LPGA player takes an inordinate amount of time. Hideki Matsuyama fits in the same mold. A ton of time at the top. It's almost as if they pause and they're hanging out and waiting and then they hit it. And they hit it very well. Uh, we've got these outliers and I used the term earlier interference. I don't want them to interfere with what you're doing. Instead of picking one example and saying, well, this person did this, um, let's look at the mass, the multitude of examples of players that are open at impact, of players that take one second ballpark from when they start to when they hit the golf ball, of players that don't slide their hips outside the box in the backswing. Okay, so just a little word of encouragement. Understand what you're trying to do in your golf swing. Understand where you're going with it, what you would like to get done, and don't let the outliers interfere with your objectives, okay? Hopefully some encouragement to keep you on the road, keep you working to what you know is gonna result in better shots, better golf, and ultimately more fun out there. Thanks for watching.